fog as we were descending Mira Peak on a very high pass called Mira Law. Uh, what was unusual about where she met us was we were actually on a glacier. She had ascended approximately 200 meters of fixed lines, which are ropes that climbers attach to the mountain in places that are too steep or dangerous to climb without the ropes. And she had come up that on her own, so it was, uh, it was a little bit strange to encounter a dog up there. Our first night together, I invited her into my tent to sleep, and she chose not to. She curled up in a little ball outside of the tent. And the next morning when we woke up, she had a thin layer of snow covering her, and she was a little bit cold. And after that night, she slept with me every day. All the climbers were wearing you know, our big down suits and had boots and crampons on, spikes that go into the snow. And she, of course, didn't have any of those things. She was just trying to work her way up, using her feet and her claws on the snow and the ice. And at one point, she actually slipped and started to slide down. And had I not caught her, she would have slid about 200 meters and then over a 40 meter cliff. It was a, uh, a scary moment for me. It didn't seem to phase her at all. As soon as I stopped her, she got right back up on her feet, went back up, and made it safely to camp one. <laughs>